All right, so I did a little study, and as Clevite, we, we have analyzed a lot of bearings, and not necessarily failures, but things that happen. 50%, 45% mm -hmm. of bearings that we get reported are from dirt. That's the problem, right? There's some kind of dirt. Now I say dirt. Damage or yeah. something. It's some kind of debris. Some kind of debris. We say dirt. Mm -hmm. It could be numerous things, honing stones, uh, dirt floating around. Yeah, you know, whatever. My your lunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are things that get in engines that shouldn't get in engines. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. So, and then we have a list of everything: misalignment, lubrication, overloading, corrosion. corrosion. Yeah. There's a bunch of a, um, forty-five percent of bearings, dirt. Well, I also happen to know the guys at uh, Timken who make rolling element bearings predominantly. Mm -hmm. It's the number one source of bearing failure for them is contamination. It's dirt, dirt, something like that. That's yeah. the number one. And guess what? And then it is, Mrs. Assembly is number two. So guess what? I guess rolling element bearings and plain bearings, they, <laughs> they suffer from the same mode of failure. Exactly. There's is, a common theme here. Don't get them dirty, it, by the way.